You need right. to feel it to believe it. This is insane. Like I can feel that it's a gel. Yeah, this is down to the nanometer level. Incredible precision that you cannot even achieve on virtually any other type of interaction. I'm a 30 year veteran of the toy industry. I've designed also cars, trucks, video games, stuff like that. What's really great about the haptic device is now when I'm doing 3D stuff, I know where I am in space. I don't have to guess and constantly tumble the model. From a like physics or engineering perspective, being able to actually have feedback on a device with the surface materials for a student could be really interesting. I'm really interested in seeing how it might influence my designs in silicon mask making, down to being able to analyze my sculptures at a very tactile level before I even get it out into the physical world. I'm Jordan, I'm a director of design and development in seating and furniture design, and so I do a lot of CAD modeling and just looking at the actual force feedback, it was amazing to see it. And so here you're controlling a magnet, and the more magnets you pick up, the heavier it's going to get. Oh my God. This is so good. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you.